everyone be here? Well, as you've seen, uh, there is a lot of things to be fixed on my log cabin. You know, several years I hadn't been there, and there is mice, you know, that got inside. It's, it's a total mess inside, honestly. On this video, you'll see there is a lot of things that need to be fixed, and I will show it to you. And at the end of the video, I would like to hear from you, is it worth, you know, to put work into it and to improve the log cabin? All right, so we're gonna start with the outside. Um, first, the door. The hinge needs to be changed. The window, maybe, you know, get a bigger window, something more modern, double size window. I don't know, we'll see. What do you think? <laughs> the walls, <laughs> they look so good. Huh? Oh, I love the walls. You know, the cabin has been built in 2007. There is some holes between the logs, so I will need to fix it in order, you know, to prevent the mice to get in it. So there is a lot of holes, and maybe this I will change. So, that's about it here. Maybe the window again, we'll need to change the window. And uh, yeah, and that was also the sink, and uh, well, the pipe <laughs> that will need to be removed and fixed. Yeah, that's about it. And also the chimney. Yeah, I will need to change the whole thing. But the wood stove is still working. Not, you know, not as much as before, but it's still working. But this is, whew. Okay, the roof. So far, the roof, uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay for another couple of years. So for the roof, I'm thinking about middle sheet. Hmm, I don't know, what do you think about middle sheet? Uh, it's cool because the snow just slide down very easily in winter time. But, uh, you know, I, I want to keep it, you know, the style, historic style. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see. What do you think about it? The front, I really want to keep the boards because they're beautiful. But, you know, I will need to fix behind it. So, I don't know, I'm gonna put some boards, plywood, I don't know. But I really need, you know, something because the mice got between the boards. So that's about it for the outside. Yeah, that's about it for the outside. And uh, let's get in the inside. Oof. Are you sure you want to go? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Woo, there is a lot of work. Okay, so I'm gonna take my camera. It would be easier to show it around. Cool. So. Mice got in here. This is the sink I was talking about. Maybe I'm just gonna remove it. Hello. <laughs> Windows. See? Needs to be fixed. Mostly this I will remove. There is a mice nest just right here. The wood stove. I've got a bigger one, so maybe I'm gonna put a bigger one. Other than that here, that's good. The thing is, as you see, I needed, you know, to hide some holes because the mice got this way. Maybe some concrete just right here. Holes they got in here by the holes. What I'm thinking is to cut half of the ceiling okay and just leave uh, we call it a mezzanine just a, a second floor but just in a half in order you know just to remove all the isolation between the ceiling which is boards and plywood that i put on the top and the mice just got between them and they just make nests and they have a lot of fun in it but it's stinky, you know, just the pee in it, it's just crazy. So, I will need to remove it. So, that will, I will need to cut half of it, remove it, and, uh, and that's it. Yeah. So, that would be uh, the big, you know, big job, this one. But, I have no choice. They got inside crazy. Yeah, and even, you know, we'll need to clean it up. Even, you know, I can see here, there is some... Mice pee here. 
Oh, oh man, I did not see this one. Whew. So yeah, okay, second floor now. So, uh, I will need to, to clean the whole thing. So this will go out, okay? Remove the whole part here because on the corner, the mice and squirrel can get in, which is bad. So I will need to clean the whole thing. And maybe this, I will see, but maybe I will have to remove uh, the insulation here if there is mice that got in the insulation. All right, so now you've seen the cabin, what needs to be fixed. You know, because of my sponsor, Prince Soto, uh, as you know, I've been sponsored for two years and they've got a lot of tools. And I was really thinking to use their tools and to improve and fix up the log cabin. So that was Billy at the log cabin wondering, you know, if he really wants to fix it up. Uh, and he really wants to hear your comments also. <laughs> All right, live your passion, live the adventure. See you very soon for another video. Bye-bye.